day, everyone, and welcome to the last episode of Japan Fiesta 2021, the Christmas edition. It has been such a wonderful journey with all of you, discovering Japan and planning our next trip. Thank you for joining us for the last three episodes, and we're down to our last. But that doesn't mean the fun will also stop. Actually, patikim pa lang yan na my experience natin in the last episodes because nothing beats going to Japan talaga and experiencing the sights, tasting the delicious food, and immersing in the culture in person. Kaya naman, kapag safe na ulit to travel, let's all book our trip to Japan. And as always, I am joined by my idols. Please welcome Miss Tony Gonzaga and Mr. Robbie Domingo! Yes! Maligayang Pasko sa ating lahat! Alam mo, Ice, I just remembered Christmas is very near. Naku, alam kong bukod sa pagta-travel at Christmas talaga ang isa sa pinaghahandaan nating mga Pinoy. Oo, lalong-lalo na konting araw na lang, Pasko na. Yes! Malapit na. But we hope that you stick around because aside from discovering Japan together with our guests, We'll also have our fun celebration of Christmas. Wala yatang katulad ang Pasko sa Pinas. Yes. Totoo yan. Again, this event is organized by the Embassy of Japan in the Philippines, the Japan National Tourism Organization, JNTO, together with the Japan Foundation, the Japanese Association Manila, and the Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the Philippines. Yes, friends! Nako, during the last three episodes, we have all been treated to everything Japanese. From food to entertainment to sports and culture, we explored what Japan has to offer. And we truly enjoyed our discoveries, diba Ice? Yes, Tony. And aside from that, we also launched a number of competitions that tested the talents of our Pinoy friends. Can I just say, ang gagaling ng lahat ng sumali. Nako! Mamaya malalaman na ninyo kung ano ang results ng mga competitions. Kaya, watch out for that. But of course, this experience will not be complete without visiting our Japan Fiesta website, which is japanfiesta.ph, where you can see more information about Japan as well as the details from our exhibitors. And who knows? You might just be one of the lucky winners ng ating raffle. Magiging extra happy ang Christmas ninyong gaganda ng mga premyo. Yes, nako, I already visited the Japan Fiesta website at ang saya pala to explore the site and learn more about Japan. And we cannot stress this enough. Visit the Japan Fiesta website, japanfiesta.ph yeah. Bukod sa fun activities, ano sabi ko? Yeah! <laughs> Bukod sa fun activities po natin, the site also has the list of exhibitors at yung iba't ibang local tourism organizations. So, you guys know what to do. Visit our Japan Fiesta website, which is japanfiesta.ph And make sure that you do your advanced registration for our newsletter. Just go to the Japan Fiesta website, japanfiesta.ph, and register for our newsletter. And good news because 100 early registrants can win original face masks and winners will be selected randomly from all valid entries via raffle draw. And make sure that you register early. And by the way, winners will be notified via email. Yes, nako Ice. Before we continue with the program, may gusto lang kami sabihin ni Robbie. Pasensya ka na ha. Kung palagi ka namin na iiwan ni Robbie, so sorry talaga. But okay we're lang. here now, and we will join you na talaga in the last episode. Promise, promise. Yeah. Walang iwanan. Promise yan. Tama si Aritons. We'll join you for this episode dahil and dami dami nating inihanda for everyone. Saka, sure. Namiss ka namin? Yes! Babawi tayo kay Ice yep, ngayon! Yep. Okay lang. Sanay naman ako maiwan eh. Uy! Lux, hugot! May hugot! May hugot! <laughs> hugot. <laughs> okay lang. Pero ang sweet naman na natin. Thank you. Maraming salamat. And this is the perfect Christmas gift for me guys. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much! Dito lang kami. Promise ha? Yes! Pero alam nyo, sa dami ng episodes na pinagsamahan natin, napansin ko lang, Wala pa tayong group. Nako nga! Perfect idea yan. Para naman may remembrance tayo ng bonding natin. Pero alam naman natin na ikaw, Robby, mm. ang may pagka-high-tech sa phone. Kaya ikaw na ang kumuha ng groofy. Mas maganda kang kumuha eh. eh. Okay. Teka lang ha. Groofy. Parang wala rito na. Asan ang phone mo? phone ko dito. Nako! Huh? Ah, tingin ko na iwan mo dun sa Japanese store na pinuntahan natin kanina. Nako, samahan muna kita sa Japanese store, Robby, bago pa may kumuha ng phone mo. Halika, puntahan okay, na natin okay, yan, okay, ha? Okay. Wait lang, ha? Pupuntahan lang namin ni Robby. Hindi ka namin ha? iba, balik Halika okay. na. 
Oh no. So it means, ito na naman ako magisa. So okay, fine. That's all right. I understand naman. So I can take care of myself. So okay, go go go. Magisa kaya mo yan. Aisa ko magisa. Okay, so while you're gone, basta balik kayo agad ah. Well, I guess it will just be me in the meantime, but the fun never stops. Kaya let's start our show. Welcome to the episode 4 of Japan Fiesta 2021, the Christmas edition. Since this is the final episode, we thought of inviting the best of the best. Excited na ba kayong malaman kung sino-sino ang ating guests? Well, I won't keep you waiting. Our guests have certainly shown Pinoy pride when they appeared in the recently concluded 2020 Tokyo Olympics. One competed in the Paralympics while the other covered the Games. Friends, please welcome Ms. Gretchen Ho and Mr. Gerald Mangliwan. Thank you for joining us in today's episode. Kayo talaga ang perfect na kasama namin today because you have just come back from Japan. So Sir Gerald, may tanong ako, how was the experience competing with other athletes from all around the world? Excited and then of course uh, honor na maging isang representante ng aming ng bansang Pilipinas po. Yes, thank you very much. So how was it like carrying the flag of the Philippines during the Parade of the Nations. Kayo po yung nag-carry nun, di ba? Honor na I'm chosen, chosen sa dami ng, ng mga atlet na ano, is nabigyan po ko ng pagkakataon. At least uh, may pakita rin kung ano yung meron yung lahing Pilipino. So, yun po. Thank you very much. Later, gusto ko pang marinig yung mga experience mo doon. Pero this time, yung question ko naman, what is your favorite spot inside the Olympic Village? Kasi malapit kami sa ano sa may uh, dagat eh. Uh-oh. Doon sa banda doon may ano may lugar na ano na yung pinag-anuhan ng yung uh, sa ano kasi Olympic ring doon sa ano eh sa Paralympic yung Agitos tawag nila. Doon maganda kasi doon. Kitang-kita mo lahat eh yung view, yung fresh ng ano nandoon lahat. So doon doon ako nagtatambay pag walang laro. talaga kayo doon, no? <laughs> Sarap ng view. <laughs> Kumusta naman yung weather, yung pagkain din yung do- during your stay? Okay naman siya. Uh, Yun, may mga ang dami dami pagpipilian may mga uh, international food Japanese food so yun kasi Japan yun eh so bihira ka ano so pinipili ko yung mga Japanese food eh <laughs> <laughs> katuwa naman later <laughs> tanongin nga natin mga pagkain related natin alright so this time Miss Gretchen how does it feel to cover the Olympics during the pandemic? Uh, I guess uh, no, it was uh, such an honor to be able to do that this is my first Olympics and uh, I think we all thought that uh, Japan was the perfect host for an Olympics within a pandemic. Uh, we all felt safe. Naming protocols, they were very strict. They were very, um, I think, very meticulous and also modern when it comes to dealing with um, yung ano yung safety namin, security namin, the protocols, the apps that we had to download, and uh, the testing that you know we had to go through. To be able to make the game safe for everyone. Alright, so malamang busy kayo during yung stay nyo doon, yung sa pag-cover ng mga interviews sa mga athletes ninyo, di ba? Pero during your stay there, were you able to visit any other sites when you were in Tokyo? Siguro yung mga napunta namin uh, while we were covering were the ramen shops and the coffee shops around. Kasi di kami masyadong pwede mag-tour dahil we were uh, on duty and there were restrictions also. But tapos... Yung coffee shop, I guess. Sarap ng coffee nila. Um, what's amazing, I think, is that anywhere you are, there's always a good ramen store near or a good coffee shop near or a good curry place very near. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what is your favorite spot inside the Olympic venue? Uh, my favorite Olympic venues would have to be the Olympic Stadium. The yung stadium itself. Where the opening and closing ceremonies were held. Itang-kita naman natin sa TV pa lang, di ba? Napakaganda, napaka-grand. And yung nandun ako, sabi ko, wow, sobrang swerte namin. Kasi iilan lang kami nandun. Sa libo-libo na pwede makapasok. Parang kami, yung press, we're very lucky because we had the chance to see it from the inside. And also, syempre, di ko makakalimutan dyan, yung Tokyo International Forum, kung saan nanalo si Heidi Rin Diaz ng gold. So, Memorable place <laughs> Memorable para sa atin diba? talaga yan. Oh, yeah. So I have another question for you guys. And do you have plans of going back to Japan this time as a tourist naman? Where do you plan to go if ever? Uh, yes, oh, oh. Uh, Japan. Japan yan eh. Napaka anong lugar eh. Gusto kong bumalik doon. 
doon doon sa sa Tokyo kasi yun nga uh, hindi ko pa masyadong na naikot na nung pagano namin doon eh yung ano yung temple doon sa may gitna ng city ah. yun yun yung ano yun yung gusto kong lugar na pintaan kasi ayun sa nakwento ng yung elo natin na namin is ano uh, napaka ano siya napakatahimik daw so ganoon ano sa ako mahilig ako sa mga ganung lugar eh <laughs> I'm so sure yun. maraming oh, alam si Gretchen. Ah, hoy doon na ano so yun. <laughs> Thank you very much. How about you Gretchen? Ako sa totoo lang ayo ko na umuwi nung pumunta ako doon. Nag uh, pinopost ko nga sabi ko, can I just stay here? Nako. <laughs> like maybe because uh it was uh, no, it was really nice. I, and 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 you you really felt safe in the pandemic and uh, kung ako makakabalik siguro pupuntahan ko this time yung Mount Fuji. Kasi mountain climber ako eh. So, pangarap ko yan. Nasa bucket list ko yan. Uh, siguro gusto ko rin pumunta sa Hokkaido. Kasi I've heard so much about the place. Alright. So, as athletes, we know that you're used to challenges. Kaya naman, we have a very simple challenge for both of you. Itong challenge na to, it's not really something to test your strength, but to test your knowledge about Japan. So, get ready because we're playing Japan 101 with Gretchen and Gerald. So, here is our first question. How many medals did Team Philippines win in the Tokyo Olympics? Four. Teka, wala pa akong choices. <laughs> Pero tingnan nga natin yung choices natin. A, 3, B, 4, C, 5. So your answer is? B, 4. B, Gold, four. silver, silver, bronze. Wow. Gold, silver, silver, bronze. Weightlifting, boxing. Tumpak. <laughs> uh, Heidelin Diaz, Nesty Petesho, uh, Carlo Paalam, Yumir Marshall. I have three prizes now. <laughs> she has more than perfect answers. Good luck po. <laughs> In case you are wondering guys, it has been 89 years since the Los Angeles Olympics in 1932 that the Philippines won multiple medals in a single event. With the first gold medal and the first multiple medal win in 89 years, the Tokyo Olympics was indeed an unforgettable event for the Philippines. Ayan! Alright, so question number two naman tayo. Ito medyo mahirap to. In which weightlifting category did Heidelin Diaz win the first Olympic gold medal in the Philippines? So A, 55 kilogram, B, 59 kilogram, C, 64 kilogram. Letter A, 55 kilograms. Wow, bakit? Hindi joke lang. Alam mo na yun, malamang. 127 yung nabuhat niya nung huli, na pinakamabigat. Yan, the one that you see on the photos. Okay, so thank you very much for the supplemental answer. And here, the answer is A. Correct ka dyan. So, Heidelin lifted a combined weight of 224 kilogram, setting an Olympic record. Ayan, so third question naman tayo. Dapat hindi kayo sumagot dito, ha? Who was the flag bearer of Team Philippines at the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics? A. Ernie Gawilan B. Heidelin Diaz C. Gerald Pete Mangliwan Naku, ang hirap ng tanong, no? Parang kamukha mo, no? <laughs> oh, parang ka- He look- look- ka look alike, ka look alike ba? Siyempre <laughs> si Gerald Yes, the answer is C. Gerald Pete Mangliwan So, Sir Gerald, kanina kuinanta niyo yung Ano feeling nyo during yung nalaman nyo when you knew that kayo yung pa rin mag-bear uh, ng flag of the Philippines? Ano yung naging reaction nyo doon? Excited eh. Excited na excited kasi yun nga. Uh, may bigyan ka ng ganong pagkakataon. So, masaya, masaya. Sobrang Mabigat saya. Mabigat ba? Hindi naman. Hindi naman kasi hindi nalagyan nila ng ano eh. Ng pole dito. Tapos Oo nga. Naka- nagtataka ako eh. Para, kasi mahirap ka ganun eh. Hindi ka naman Oo pagpulag. Oo nga naman. <laughs> Oo. Akala, <laughs> ko, <laughs> ko, <laughs> akala ko dahil na sa Japan ka lahat automatic na ganun. <laughs> <laughs> so, na, talagang natuwa ka doon. Masaya. Oh, At saka, at the same time, kami mga nanonood, we're so very proud. Ako, Japanese ako, pero I'm Akala Team Philippines ako. Hindi, hindi yung maliit. Hindi, hindi maliit. <laughs> <laughs> maliit lang na ganun. <laughs> so, Sir Gerald, kanina si Gretchen lahat sumagot ng mga questions natin. Ikaw naman yung tatanungin ko. Sana hindi mahirap ha. <laughs> Ito yung question number one. So, what kind of flower was the Tokyo Paralympics mascot modeled after? A. Plum mm-hmm. B. Sakura Cherry Blossom C. Bonsai Ang choice ko is ano, uh, Sakura Cherry Blossom Kasi sikat na sikat na flower sa Japan yan eh <laughs> Sakura Tama ba? Tama ba? Sure ka? Uh, sure, sure Walang bawi? Wala, sure ka? Wala. Okay <laughs> Answer is B. Sakura Cherry Blossom 
new mascot character, uh, Someiti, <laughs> the mascot of the Tokyo Paralympics, is yes. named after Somei Yoshino, a type of cherry blossom. Kaya yun, cherry blossom tayo, Sakura. Alright, question number two naman tayo. Ready ka na? Ready. Okay, so let's yeah, go. Let's go. <laughs> Question number two. Before Tokyo 2020, which Japanese city hosted the 1998 Winter Olympics? A. Sapporo B. Nagano C. Sendai Winter Olympics, ano? Opo, hindi Summer Olympics, Winter ha? Winter Olympics, uh, ano na lang, wild guess ako. Letter wild B. guess. Nagano? B. Nagano. <laughs> Oo. Sure kayo? Kung sure ano, na? Sure kayo, ha? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, sige, tingnan Para natin. <laughs> Okay, kung nagkamali ka, sasayaw tayo together dito. Okay, wow. sige. Alright, so the answer is B, Nagano. But aside from Hokkaido, there are many other places in Japan where it snows. So let's look forward to another Winter Olympics Games in Japan. Alright, third question na tayo. For our third question, I may need Gretchen's help because she has the answer. Uh -huh. But the question is, eto muna. What was Gretchen's Favorite food during her Tokyo Olympics coverage. So A, sushi. B, ramen. C, Meiji. 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 Me Sobrang hectic ng schedule namin doon. And yun din yung kinain ko bago yung gold medal ni Heidi Lynn. So, nagpicture ako noon actually sa kamay ko. Tapos, sabi ko, natunaw na yung Meiji kasi ang init sa Japan. <laughs> Summer kasi. Tapos, nung gabi, same gabi, gold medal na yung nasa kamay ko. Pinik Pinikturan ko din. Nasa Sana space. all tunaw na chocolate naging gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Thank you ulit for joining us, Gretchen and Gerald, and for accepting our quiz challenge. We are very honored to have the country's pride with us today, and thank you for raising the Filipino flag. Mabuhay kayo! Before we end, do you have any message to all our friends watching today? Gretchen? Uh, I guess I'd like to thank Japan for doing a great job in hosting the Olympics. I think Gerald and I had the the experience of our lives there. Uh, me covering him, competing, and thank you for keeping us safe, even if the, the trials were tough, even if you know there were a lot of challenges. But we made it through, and uh, we're very proud to have come from, uh, from uh, the Tokyo Olympics. It's, uh, I think we would probably be telling those stories to our children and to our grandchildren about how historic the Olympics were. And syempre, sa mga Pinoy na gustong pumunta sa Japan, ako, the moment the gates open, please do come. Kasi masasabi ko sa inyo na ano, napaka-respectful ng mga tao, napaka-disiplinado, you'd feel safe. And ang ganda, ang ganda pa rin, yung, ano, yung, yung mga tanawin, lahat meron sila eh. Meron sila kung gusto mo yung mainit, kung gusto mo yung malamig, kung gusto mo yung mga cherry blossom trees, temples, the city, the mountains. Lahat they na. have it all. And I want to go to Mount Fuji so sana makapunta na rin. How about you Sir Gerald? Well, same thing lang din. Uh, gusto ko rin magpasalamat sa sa Japan nga kasi uh, kahit na ganito yung sitwasyon natin, nai pa rin yung yun yung mga games, Paralympic Olympics ng maayos. And sana kung okay na lahat, sana wag host ulit sila eh. <laughs> Again, thank you very much and continue making the whole country proud. Let's do this in Japanese. Let's say see you soon sa ating viewers in Japanese. Let's say, matane! Okay? One, two, three! Matane! Our next guest got his big break in 2019 when he appeared in Pinoy Big Brother in the Philippines where he was selling abroad and is now a very popular Japanese celebrity with over 4.5 million followers on social media. Recently, I heard that he is in Japanese dramas and variety shows as well. Friends, please all welcome, Kumiya! Hi, Kumiya! Hello po! Hi everyone! Maligayang Pasko! It's been a while! It's been a long time! Kamusta ka na? 
No, I'm still in Japan. I'm very, very good. Pero ako sobrang I miss Philippines and I, I really wanna go back to the Philippines talaga. Pag-usapan natin ay ang iyong experiences in Japan. That's one of my most favorite topics. Kaya, game ako dyan. Boss, nagkakama nga to ka, right, Mia? Yes, uh, I'm, ano, I born and raised uh, in uh, Hamamatsu, and uh, I just want to say that Hamamatsu is really, really, really nice town, and um, actually famous on hometown ko for eel. Do, do you know eel? Agi eel, right? Eel. Alam. Eel. Yes, of course. I haven't eaten eel for the longest time. That's kasi. Diba? Yeah. So. I have an idea. Why why don't we do tour of the Hamamatsu area? I actually prepare a flip chart with the map of Japan. Can you see that this one? This one, this one. Hamamatsu is like I don't know, like here. Can you oh, see? Okay. Red yes. one. Hamamatsu and I don't know. Mount Fuji. Very marapid. So Hamamatsu. Dito, like this. Okay, lapit. Very near. Very marake, di ba? Yeah. And then, Amazing. this is marapit. Toyohashi is here. Yeah, Toyohashi. Yes. The Tokyo is major. Uh, no, no, no. The Hamamatsu is major malayo from Tokyo. Like, Tokyo, oh. Our, uh, by bullet train, like that. Pero, I'm so excited to discover about Hamamatsu area for me. Yeah. So, friends, welcome to the Hamamatsu area. Simulan natin sa pag-introduce ng hometown ni Fumia ang Hamamatsu City. Hamamatsu is a global city located in Shizuoka Prefecture near Mount Fuji between Tokyo and Osaka, about 1.5 hours by Shinkansen from Tokyo. Alam niyo na ba sa Lake Hamana, maaari kang makapag-harvest ng eels, clams, at oysters. Naku, makaparami ang tayo ko doon. Maraming famous companies sa Philippines ang nagmula sa Hamamatsu, such as Yamaha, Suzuki, and Honda for motorcycles, and Yamaha, Kawai, and Roland naman for musical instruments. And many Filipinos also work and live there. Actually, Ang Hamamatsu pala ang my third highest population of Filipinos living in Japan, right? Job! Ay, sa isa, good job! Thank you very much! Grabe ang laki pala ng Hamamatsu City! Diba? Yeah! Very, ano, very, very malaki and very nice city. Ano, a lot of maganda, ano, place and masarap na ang pakain. And the maraming ring sports activities dito. So, tara, ano, my video. So, let's watch. try ang um, para paragliding in Hamamatsu. Yeah, it was really scary kasi, di ba? I'm very afraid the uh, heights, di ba? Oh, you're afraid of heights. Why did you do it? Kasi I'm social media ambassador. Very I'm very very ambassador from Hamamatsu. That's why. <laughs> Talagang ini-explore ko ang lahat ng pwedeng activities dito. Like that. Diba? 
Oo oh, naman. So, kaya naman pala eh. You conquered your fear out of love for Hamamatsu. Ah, tama. Galing naman. Is there anything else you want to tell us about? Yeah, well, aside from il, marami pang ibang masarap na pagkain sa Hamamatsu. There is a sweet company called Shunkado. Do you know that? Shunkado, uh, the eel pie. I've always wanted to eat it again. It's been a while since I've had one. Nakakamiss! Talaga? Wow, magdadala ako niyan when I get back talaga. Oy, yay! Abangan ko yan ha. Thank you very much, Mia. Yeah, so promise talaga. Mag-uwi ako niyan for you. By the way, There's a lot of Instagrammable uh, no, spots. For example, here, Sweet Bank. I will see. Boom. Can you see? Yeah. Totoong buildings ang maga... Yan. It, isn't it amazing? There are a lot of places to take pictures inside. Pang IG talaga. Very Instagrammable place talaga. Wow, ang ganda naman ng lugar na yan. There are like big chairs and big bags and you can have Instagram there. Wow! Sobrang big. You know, I also experienced going deep into the mountains to experience harvesting millet. Alam mo ba, gumawa din kami ng mga sweets with the millet we harvest here. Oh, like this, this one! Yeah. Oh! Ikaw ba yan? Ako! <laughs> Ang saya pala ng mga escapades mo sa Japan. Ang dami mong ginagawa. Well, very ano, masipag for me, di ba? So, excited ka na mapuntahan ang Hamamatsu area. Di ba? Yes, sobrang excited ako. Wow. So, now that you've already learned a lot of ano, about Hamamatsu, my challenge naman ako sa'yo. Okay? Okay? Per- okay, go, go, go. Hindi ka naman masyado mahirapan because we've already tackled these questions talaga. Sige, game na game. Go lang. Okay. So, Hamamatsu is famous for Suzuki motorcycles, Yamaha music equipment, eels and sweets such as shunkados. Uh, but there is another famous food in Hamamatsu. So, what is it? Ano? Hamamatsu citizens bought most of this food in Japan this year. Super, super, super sarap niya kapag mainit pa. Tonkatsu? Karage? Ah, ah, to, eh, eh, tonkatsu and karage, your answer, your final answer? Tonkatsu. Tonkatsu? Sure. Mali! Okay, it's more mali. So that answer is Buong gyoza! Do you know gyoza is dumplings? Yes! Oh, alam ko naman ng gyoza. Ay, ba- bakit na hamamatsu gyoza? May ma- hamamatsu gyoza? Yes, hamamatsu actually has the largest annual purchase of gyoza in Japan. Yeah, try mo ang hamamatsu gyoza next time na nandito ka. Sure! Sige, try ko yan. I'm going to show you another town. Wow, exciting! Saan ba yan? Well, just flip through our chart and you will see it. Flip natin. Ah, boom! Suddenly, map, come back. Yeah, our next spot is Toyohashi City. Toyohashi City, maybe. Here, like that. Can you see this? Yes. So yes. that's where Toyohashi City is, pala. It's near your town. Yes, yes, yes. Toyohashi City, Aichi Prefecture. Look at that chart. Tuntungan. Yeah, so kilali din yung Aichi dahil sa Toyota cars, right? Yeah, that's right. Can you do another favor, favor for me? Alam ko na, I knew it. I will introduce it again, right? Very matalino talaga. Thank you so much. Okay, sure. So the Toyohashi City Tour, located in Aichi Prefecture next to Hamamatsu City, the area around Hamamatsu and Toyohashi is called the San En Region. Isa pala ang Toyohashi sa top 10 cities in Japan pagdating sa agriculture, zero persimmons, and Chinese cabbage and cabbage etc. can be harvested there. Ayan. So Toyohashi is also the home of professional basketball team San and Neo Phoenix. 
Yeah, they are all so fine. You works the kind you hold in your hands. Na experience mo rin ba siya? Ah, uh, yung show, ah, uh, kumia? Ah, uh, hindi ko na experience yung. Actually, makikita mo sila sa festival every year. Yeah, but it was a cancel due to the pandemic. Mm. So it's a shame it didn't happen this year. Pero sana meron na ulit next year, di ba? Sana. Like not. Oh nga, sana. Naku, magkasama na tayo to experience that promise. Festivals are a summer tradition in Japan, di ba? Aren't they? Sure. By the way, alam mo bang may isang famous Filipino athlete living in this town? Kilala mo ba kung sino? Talaga? Sino kaya? Eh, hindi mo talaga kilala? Wow, talaga. Oh my gosh, to sa ano na yare. <laughs> well, I can't give you any clue now because Yang and Sus Nude come quiz for you. Quiz ulit! Na naman! Siyempre. Pero don't worry. Hindi siya mahirap. Promise. Okay, challenge accepted. Basta hindi ako mahihirapan, ha? Yeah. Game ka na ba? Game na. Okay, okay. Actually, yun tinatanong ko kanina ang question ko. May isang famous Filipino athlete na active sa Toyohashi and Hamamatsu. The hint is basketball. Raise your hands if you know. Go. Your answer. Come on. Actually, I'm going to ask for a clue. Oh, okay. I will reveal the face of this famous athlete. Bebe! Yes, very sick. But currently he is playing for team called Sun and Neo Phoenix in the B League Japan's Professional Basketball League. This is his second season. I didn't know that. Cool. I want to watch one of these games someday. Oh. But oh, by the way, this year, Thirdy's older brother, Kiefer, also joined the B-League in Japan. Kaya abagan natin kung magkakaroon ng siblings rivalry. Okay, okay. You understand, di ba? Rivalry. Ah, rivalry. <laughs> listening talaga. Thank you, po. So, or pwede ding double power. Yeah. Diba? Yes. Di ba? Ang galing. I also found out that there are a lot of Filipinos living there. At this is celebrating a Filipino day, tama ba? Yes. Ano, share ko lang pala. I'm also the social media ambassador for San and Neo Phoenix. Kaya I'm trying to get them to come and join us. Para super happy. Galing naman. All right. So, well, we have come to an end of this segment for Mia. I really enjoyed it and thank you for touring me around. Hamamatsu and Toyohashi so dami namin natutunan galing sa iyo. If I may ask, have you decided what you want to do in the future? Ano yung mga future plans mo? Uh, I want to become a uh, ano, bridge between the Philippines and Japan, diba? So gusto kong ipagpatuloy ang pagiging social media ambassador. Yeah, uh, no, for Sign New Phoenix and Ambassador for Hamamatsu City, diba? So I'd like to keep doing that for a long time to come. I'm hoping for your success in that endeavor and we're rooting for you, Fumia. Alam nami magiging successful ka dyan. That's all for today's special guest, Fumia, and thank you for joining us all the way from Japan. Do you have any message to our viewers? Mga mga hearts, marami marami salamat for always supporting me, di ba? And then like, sana, I hope to see you soon talaga. And then, again guys, please watch my show this coming December 18, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at One Sports. Maligaya ang Pasko ulit sa inyo, pum pum pum! Ayos, maligaya ang Pasko din sa inyo, Fumia. And thank you very much, Fumia. And see you in Japan or in the Philippines soon! Yay!
your little fine ass up in the tower The way you move like you do Ooh, it's like you do it for a living Do it, little spin, do it again See, look like you're playing for the win Oh, baby I'm trying to roll, I'm trying to ride I'm trying to float, I'm trying to glide No, no, don't be shy Just take my hand and hold on tight Buti nakakasalita ka pa, no? O, oh, yan, hinga ka muna, hinga, hinga muna, hinga, malalim. Okay, mas lalo kami, AC, and we're excited to share this segment with you. But before anything else, how are you doing? Bukod sa hinihingal ka. <laughs> Medyo. Pero I'm so happy to be here po. It's my first time here, actually, with this organization. So I'm so glad to be here with everyone also din po. Yes, that's good to know. And how are you handling this pandemic, by the way? What changes did the pandemic uh, uh, do for you? It's definitely been hard for all of us naman po. We've all gone through something during this pandemic. But I think we've been able to look at the positive side of, side of things. We've all changed to the online world. Lahat tayo nasa technology na. And we're able to connect lagi through you're connecting with everyone around the world because of technology. Just like here today, we have people watching from all over the world. Yes, po. this so is yeah. online. Oh, po, tata, oh, po. Yun, po. So the pandemic will definitely not stop us from doing fan activities since most of the time nasa bahay lang tayo. How do you spend most of your time naman? And uh, did you discover any new hobbies? Yes, well, actually during the first, when the pandemic first started, obviously lockdown po talaga, so we were all at home. So I learned to start painting. Wow! Oh, because it was very therapeutic for me. It was a way to release stress. But don't tell me while painting, so I'm not going to do Actually, baka nga po. Wow, <laughs> that's a new man, kind man. of art, naman. Oh, wow. Okay, so naku, may nabalitaan kami tungkol sa you, AC. Naku, ano po yun, Kuya Ice? Well, nabalitaan namin hindi ka pa nakakapunta ng Japan. Oh, po, tama po, Kuya oh. Ice. But. I've always wanted to go there, kaya naman part na yan ng travel destinations ko kapag safe na ulit mag-travel. Naku, talagang you shouldn't miss it dahil ang dami mong madidiscover kapag bumisita ka ng Japan. And if you were given the chance to travel to Japan, which particular destination would you want to visit? When when it's safe, obviously, to travel na po, I will go to every corner of Japan talaga. Every corner of Japan. <laughs> Parang itong dance, ano natin, no? Opo. Yung, kung itong every corner talagang sinulit mo in the same way, every corner of Japan. AC Opo. Bonifacio passes through, okay? All right, so nako gusto ko rin bumalik dyan actually. And who do you want to accompany you naman? Of course. Sinong gustong kasama mo? My family po, of Ay, course. But I can't... Ay, pwede din! <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Oh, oh, of course, my family po. My mom, who's here. And then my family back in Canada din po. Para it's a family vacation po. Okay. Thank you for answering our questions. And this time, 
dahil hindi ka pa nakakapunta sa Japan, I thought of bringing Japan here dito. So we will have a virtual tour of the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route. Wow, grabe! I've been longing to travel to Japan, kaya kahit virtual, grabe, thank you po talaga. Excited na po ako, but what can we expect from Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route? Yes, so sang Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route, aside from it being one of the most iconic destinations in Japan, this route offers a great alpine hiking experience. Kaya para sa mga adventurous, this is one thrilling experience that we shouldn't miss. Opo, actually na excited po ako kasi nag-hike po talaga ako when I'm in Canada. Kaya that's so awesome. You have to tell me more, Kuya Ice. Yes, yeah, so let's start our virtual tour of the Tateyama Kurabe Alpine Route. Tara! Tara! Ayan, welcome to the Tateyama Kurabe Alpine Route, AC! You may not know what the Tateyama Kurabe Alpine Route is, but this scenery may remind you of it. This is the Yukino Otani. It's a valley of snow that you can see between April and June. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Grabe, I want to go there po. Yes, kasama ko ha. Opo. O, pareho tayo soon. Now, let's take a look at the video that introduces the splendor of Tateyama. Grabe, Kuya Ice. I was curious about that pretty bird. Yung, ah, that's a thunderbird. The thunderbird is a national natural treasure and has been cherished as a messenger of the gods since ancient times. In summer, its plumage is white and brown to resemble the surface of a mountain. And in winter, its plumage changes to all white to match the snow-covered mountains. Ang ganda niya, di ba? Yes po! Pero ano naman po itong crystal clear blue pond? It looks so majestic. Yes, that's Mikuri Gaike. And this large pond has a circumference of about 630 meters and a depth of 15 meters. It is said to be the most beautiful volcanic lake in the Northern Alps. Opo, it looks so relaxing din po. Ang ganda talaga ng mga lugar na to. Talagang kasama na ito sa itinerary ko when I visit Japan. Kaya tell me more, Kuya Ice. Sure. The area where Mikuri Gaike Pond is located is called Murodo and is the highest point of the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route, located at an altitude of about 2,450 meters. You can see the snow valley and the beautiful starry sky. Wow, let's go, Kuya Ice! Excited na ako to know the other spots. Alright, this huge dam is called the Kurobe Dam. Famous for its height of 186 meters, the tallest in Japan, this water discharge is called sightseeing water discharge and it sprays out more than 10 tons of water every second. On a sunny summer day, the spray of water reflects diffusely and a sparkling rainbow can appear. The best time to see the rainbow is in the morning. Next up, we have the Tateyama Ropeway. They say this is the best in Japan. Why do you think it is, AC? Hmm, I have no idea, Kuya Ice. Pero, alam ko alam mo yung sagot. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. I do naman. Guide mo ko eh. So, dahil siya ang longest aerial lift line in Japan. About 1,700 meters siya. This ropeway has no support pillars. The reason for this is that this area is prone to avalanches. And if the ropeway were to be swallowed, the pillars would be swept away together. Kaya thanks to this, the view is unobstructed and you can enjoy a special panoramic view talaga. Opo, I can tell. Based on the video, I also think this view is one of the best in Japan, Kuya Ai. Yes, and alam mo naman Japan, di ba? The four seasons, nagbabago yung scenery. So after seeing the sights, I know you are a little tired and medyo nagugutom na rin. So AC, are you up for a nice meal? Ako, ako pa. Laging kumakain. Of course, di ko yata palalapasin ang masarap na pagkain. Yes, yeah, so you're lucky because there are some meals that I recommend. Ito na. <laughs> I can actually recommend too the white shrimp karaage don set meal and the kurobe dam chiffon. The white prawns, known as the jewel of Toyama Bay in Toyama Prefecture, 
where Tateyama is located are deep fried in their shells giving them an excellent, savory, and crunchy texture. Kurobe Dam Chiffon is a large-sized chiffon cake with the image of Kurobe Dam. It also has a cute Thunderbird cookie on it, and both are available at Restaurant Tateyama in the Murodo area. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering po. Ginutom naman ako dito, di ba? Oh, sorry. Ay, Akala mo may dala ko, no? Opo! Doon na lang pagdating natin. Opo, ba? ayun nga po. I was just gonna ask you when I can taste these delicious meals. Pero doon nga po, in Japan. Yes, malapit na yan. Eh. See soon as it's safe to travel again na. Opo, I will look forward to that. But just so I can plan na, how do I get there po? Easy lang, eh. See, if you're coming from Tokyo, you can take the train going to Toyama. The trip is about two hours long from Toyama and you need to hop on another train ride going to Tateyama. This train ride takes about one hour only. Ayun, grabe talaga ang guide ko. Thank you so much, Kuya Ice. Now, I can plan my trip to the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route. Yes, kasama ko. And this concludes our virtual tour of the Tateyama Kurobe Albine Route. So, AC, balik na tayo. Yes po, let's go, Kuya Ay. Yes, let's go back. Ayan, so did you enjoy our virtual trip on the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route, AC? Super! Yan talaga ang isa sa mga una kong pupuntahan when I get the chance to visit Japan. Kaya thank you po for the virtual tour, Kuya Ice. I really enjoyed it. You're very, very welcome. And don't forget, isasama mo ako, ha? Ay, yes po! Let's go! Okay, so kaya kapag safe na ulit mag-travel, let's go to Japan, AC? Yes po! Let's go! So, eto, before we let you go, AC, since we still have one more thing to do, etong dahil ikaw ang gumawa ng choreography ng Let's Go to Japan Dance, how about giving us a live sample? Sample! Wow. Sample! Sample! Sige, sige, pero Kuya Ice, yes. basta sasamahan mo ako. Ako, yari! <laughs> Alam mo po kapag sumayaw ako, nababawasan ako ng mga friends. <laughs> Hindi po yan! You'll become even more popular worldwide. Yes, no, I think uh, outside, out, out of the world ang tawag dyan. Okay, sige! Let's dance! Let's go to Japan, let's go to Japan Experience the feel Japan Let's go! Nako, bagong career ko ba? Pwede ba ako sumama sa backstage niyo? Yes po! <laughs> Alright, thank you very much AC. That was so much fun. And thank you for dancing your heart out, AC. Nako, no sweat, Kuya Ice. I also want to encourage our friends to submit their entries for the Let's Go to Japan Dance Contest. Pupunta tayo dun, promise. Isasama mo nga ako, di ba? Opo. Yes, but for our friends, we'll wait for your entries. Before you leave us, maybe AC, you can give a word of encouragement for everybody na hindi pa makatravel tulad mo. Yes po, I'm sure just from pictures we've seen and watching this live today, a lot of us have been encouraged to go to Japan na po after the pandemic just to relax and have fun. Kaya... Sabay-sabay po tayo papunta doon. Sabay-sabay? Sabay-sabay. So ako sama sa'yo? Sila sama sa'yo? Opo, isa sa pamilya po tayo. Okay, so gagawin ko yung premyo ha. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Alright, thank you very much again, AC Bonifacio. And hope to see you in Japan together. Let's say see you in Japanese okay, to everybody. Ready, set, matane! As part of the celebration of the 65th anniversary of friendship between Japan and the Philippines, there will be a series of competitions that will best display the fusion of the two cultures. And Let's Go to Japan Dance Competition is one of them. 
Again, to join, all you need to do is follow Visit Japan PH on Instagram, then search for hashtag Japan Fiesta 2021 Dance. Save the sound source of the video and shoot your own version of Let's Go to Japan! Post it on your Instagram account using the hashtag Japan Fiesta 2021 Dance and you're done! But please, take note that the deadline for posting your entries is on December 11, 2021. So make sure you post your dance entry with the correct hashtag early. At this point, I am delighted to announce another exciting contest. Nalaman niyo na kanina ang tungkol sa ating dance contest. So this time, we have naman a photo contest. Do you have a talent for capturing beautiful images? Then this contest is definitely for you at hindi din biro ang prizes because the winner will receive a round trip ticket to Japan! Interested to join? All you have to do is follow the Visit Japan account on Instagram and after that, post your entry photo using the hashtag hashtag JapanFiesta2021 photo. You can submit as many entries as you want but you can only win once. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Join now! Deadline for posting your entries is on December 11, 2021. We'll be waiting for your beautiful photos. Hi! Salamat! Nakaabot kami. Sabi naman sa'yo, Ice, eh, we will make it today. Hindi na wala. Pero ayan ha, talagang we made sure na makakahabol kami bago matapos yung programa natin for today. At least. At Thank you guys. Di nyo ako binigo. Maraming maraming salamat. Pero alam nyo na sanay na kasi akong iniwan. Kaya ayaw ko nang umasa. Pero nandito kayo kaya I'm so happy. Pero hindi nyo naabutan si AC. Sayang naman. Anito? Well, magkikita-kita naman kami. Pero tama ka, sayang nga. Ang importante, nakuha na namin yung cellphone ni Robbie and it's here. So it's about to take our group. Yes, let me do this. Yes, ayos! Let me do this. In okay. Three, two, one. Japan! Yeah! Alright! Galing! Ayan, may remembrance na tayo. So what's our next segment, Ice? We are about to give our viewers a surprise gift. Who wants some sweet treats? <laughs> Ayon, I know you all do. So, Robbie, ano bang dapat gawin ng ating viewers? Well, you can see the prizes right now. These are some of the sweet treats na pwedeng mapasa inyo. All you have to do is visit our website, which is www.japanfiesa.ph, and answer our questionnaire. Or you can just scan this QR code and you will automatically be led to our questionnaire. We will also put the link in the comment section below. So, guys. Just answer the questionnaire and voila! You can be one of the 300 winners of this delicious 6-pack Likos Pocky. Each box may 6-pack sa loob. And make sure that you provide your email address so we can contact you if you win. And by the way, the winners will be drawn via lottery, so good luck! But if you want bigger prizes, then join our Japan Virtual Travel Quiz. To join, just go to our website japanfiesta.ph and answer a quiz composed of 10 questions. The winners will be drawn from among those who answered all the questions correctly and they will be notified via email. And let me tell you about the prizes. So here, meron tayong mga masks. So this is the original face mask from JNTO. We have 200 winners of this one and we have this staff toy, Don Pen from Don Quixote. So small staff toy, one winner, and large staff toy, one winner as well. And we also have the iPad 8th generation, 32GB, three winners. And of course, Tony. Yes, alam nyo po, anyone can join. If you win, we will deliver the prize to you. Kaya ano pang hinihintay nyo, don't forget to visit our website, www.japanfiesta.ph. Ang saya naman ng episode natin ngayon. Bukod sa ang dami nating natutunan, ang dami ding nakikulit sa atin. Sadly, last episode na natin ito for now. For now. Nako, that's right, eyes. Our four-episode Christmas special is about to reach its end, but fun won't stop. Kumbaga, starter lang ito dahil ang ultimate Japan experience only happens when we can already travel to Japan. Tama. Later na muna ang drama-drama natin because we would first like to hear a few words from some of our featured exhibitors. Hello everyone! We are Tokyo Convention and Exercise Bureau! Did you like it? Yes! 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 Yes!
you watch and enjoy Tokyo Olympic Games this summer. It seems tough to run the such big event under the pandemic situation, but all athletes and stars did their best performance. Yeah, you know what? Philippines won the most medals ever at the Tokyo Games. Yeah, yes, Hydaelyn Diaz won the first Olympic gold medal in the history of Philippines. Wow, that's fantastic! Are you getting the urge to prepare for Christmas and New Year yet? Don't you the stores sell a lot of holiday related products, not only for Christmas, but also for a number of other festive occasions. Inside the stores are also decorated to match the upcoming events. There are a lot more things to explore inside Don Quixote stores as well. By visiting a Don Quixote store, you will be able to shop for an overwhelming array of items, ranging all the way from toilet paper to high-end brand products. Of course, we are still currently taking a number of measures to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, as well as ensure the safety of our customers, as you are all our number one priority. We know that this year wasn't easy for most of us. Whether you've gotten used to the new normal or are still struggling with it, we hope you have a fulfilling and meaningful Christmas with your loved ones. And hopefully, when you're able to visit Japan again, don't you there will be a list of places you want to go. Now goodbye and see you soon! Mabahai, Komusta Kayam Nahat. I'm Chikara Mochihara, heading the JAL team in the Philippines. After more than a year of flying between Philippines and Japan during the pandemic, we expectantly await the day when Japan fully opens its borders. We continue to give you care and assurance through our price safe program, which has earned JAL Diamond Certification for providing the highest levels of safety measures the very first airline in Japan to receive such an award. In the meantime, enjoy Japan Fiesta and when you are ready to fly, allow us to bring you genuine Japanese hospitality with your job experience. Marigayam Tasco Sa Inyon Laha
Good evening to everyone. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for choosing Japan Airlines. so inspiring. Maraming maraming salamat to all of our exhibitors for joining us and I know our audience is really excited to visit Japan because of what you guys have presented. Yes, well thank you Robbie and Tony for joining me and I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure discovering Japan with you, with the ultimate multimedia star, Nux, and with all of the people watching us right now. Maraming maraming salamat po. Pero ano ba yan? Magkita-kita na lang tayong muli sa susunod na Japan Fiesta and hopefully in Japan. Very Mas true. masarap kung nasa Mas Japan. Yun. That's the dream. Ako po si Robby Domingo. At ako naman po si Tony Gonzaga. Again, it's a pleasure to host with you, Robbie. It's nice to meet you, Ice. I hope this is not our first and last meeting. We'll see each other again. In Japan. In Japan. <laughs> yes. At ako naman si Aisaku Yokogawa. And we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And this has been the last episode of... Japan Fiesta 2021 Christmas Edition! Matane! Matane!